No matter what you've learned, and no matter where you learned it, you are capable of taking these things that you learned and using it as a weapon against those who you perceive as getting in the way of your progress. This can be a person, but oftentimes, especially lately, it's a whole demographic. So if you feel like a demographic is getting in the way of your progress, you'll use what you've learned as a weapon against them one way or the other. It doesn't matter if you got your ideas from your redneck uncle or from dozens of peer-reviewed articles or from the highest paid professor at the most prestigious university ever. If you are under the impression that there is a demographic that is in the way of your progress, your progress as you see it, not necessarily your actual progress, you're going to try to find a way to use what you've learned against that group. That is, unless you really, really work hard at not doing that. It means that unless you're trying to combat that sort of thing within yourself, so you can avoid that tendency, then you're adding to it in society. Men's rights activism, as a concept, isn't a bad thing. But the way it gets used is a bad thing. Exactly the same thing with feminism. Heck, exactly the same thing with religion. And this is because people are taking what they've learned and are using it as a weapon. Not taking the information you've learned and trying to actually genuinely teach others, but as a weapon. Sometimes people will try to pretend that they're teaching people, when all they're really trying to do is impress their peers. This is especially common since social media. It doesn't matter how nice someone is when they say it either, when they're faking teaching people things. People can fake being nice really, really well sometimes. It doesn't matter if you use a soft tone to the point of it being annoying. It doesn't matter how logically you've laid it out, especially if the way you've laid it out is to try to impress your peers. None of that really matters. If you view the people you're talking to as though they're what's in the way of your progress, you're not really going to treat them like human beings, like fellow human beings. You're instead going to treat them as things you need to overcome while trying to impress your peers. And on the other end of that, if you go out of your way to be as nasty as you can while pretending to teach people something, the demographic you're addressing will be angrier at you. And maybe that's what you want. It gets you street cred in your online circles.